Hi, I'm back from China. Mum, I've got you the hat. Hi, Matt here. When it comes to location sharing, Google Maps got you covered. Now, you can share the location in a few ways. You can either share it permanently, like I did here uh, with Monica, so I can constantly monitor what she's up to. Hi, Monica. And uh, you can do it for a limited amount of time or until you arrive at the destination. Now, the same functionality isn't supported on a Google Home. When you ask uh, Google Home about the uh, location of the person, Google Home flops. Hey, Google. Where is Matt? Sorry, I can't help with that yet, but I'm always learning. Until today. Today I'm going to show you how to make Google Home check where your friends, partners or family is. This video has been brought to you by Patreon supporters. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, if you want to learn more details, they are in the description of this video. Welcome to the first location. And due to strong winds, I'm forced to stay inside the car. Now, let's see if Google can find me. Matt is near 53 to 57 Hollybush Avenue, Thornaby Street, Hockton on Tees, TS 17 OSR, UK. Let me know if you need the directions. I'm at the second location now, and uh, let's go and ask Google if Google can find me. Matt is near Blair Avenue, Thornaby, Stockton on Tees, TS 17 5HL, UK. Let me know if you need the directions. Hey Google, send the directions to my phone. Check Google Maps for details. And the best thing about it is that the location information isn't shared with Google at all. So, how did I do it? That's very simple. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it possible. And there's few services that I'm going to use. So we're going to need Node-RED, IFTTT, Auto Remote, and Tasker. How does it work and why Google have no access to this information? Uh, what happens is when I say your command to Google, um, home, I'm using IFTTT to get the command going and then to issue the web request to my Node-RED. Node-RED will process this information, will take the name, find the name on the contact list uh, I've created in Node-RED and send the information to that uh, contact that I want their location. Now the task will process that information, okay, and submit coordinates back via web request to my Node-RED server. Once this is got, uh, done and I've got the coordinates, I'm going to use my, uh, Google Maps API to process this request and change the core coordinates into a human readable address, format it nicely, and then pass it over back to Google so Google will read it out. At no point Google has access to this information as a service. So they might collect some data, but they don't know what the data is for, how it's associated, etc. And lastly, if you're really interested, you have a follow-up which means I can issue another command, voice command, use the IFTTT to send a web request to my Node-RED and send that previously uh, requested information to my personal phone, uh, requesting it to be opened as uh, navigate to action. So let's start with Google Maps API. You need to get a key, which means you have to head to uh, developers.google.com and go to Google Maps APIs and look for uh, Google Maps uh, geocoding APIs. That's what translates uh, the coordinates into the uh, readable address. So you can read more about it, but basically what you need to do is just get started and get yourself a key. Once you get a key and stuff like that, uh, you'll be able to use uh, the link uh, to transcode the coordinates into the location itself. Now, the first thing we do is to send IFTTT a request. So this is what basically going to respond to your voice command. I say locate Matt, so I'm substituting Matt with a dollar symbol, or I can also say find Matt for me. Obviously, Matt substituted with a dollar symbol, then given some sort of response. And then I'm uh, linking this with a webhook, uh, so you can enter this 
this is my directory so I've got my node IP replace that with your own node IP and port and then there is a directory which is location slash person and I'm making a post request and that's a JSON and what I'm uh, sending is a JSON with the key a name and the value which comes from a text field so whatever I say it's going to be the value and that's the request that request is being sent to my node red and this is handled by the first flow in here so this is my post request node and mandatory response node in here as well now once this is set I need to store the name in a, as a global variable I'm going to use it later to uh, compose the response so I'm just using this command to store it as a global a variable as a location and name for the name of the person so once I've got this name because that's why I'm gonna get uh, I can compare it uh, with the switch node so if it's a math it's a first option it's a Monica second etc etc and depending on this I'm gonna assign a auto remote key you can find it by going to auto remote and then uh, uh, finding your URL this is the URL for the dev target device so if you want to use the Android device of your friend you need to get their um, um, ability to send the uh, auto remote node to get their key so that's the first requirement and once this is done so you simply just format it so use the standard response link and we sending a message uh, saying location so when the location is received what's going to happen on the mobile phone we're going to get the profile in tasker responding to location now this is a very simple profile again uh, basically we're just getting a location uh, with a 30 second timeout that should be enough to cover for all the scenarios then we're going to set the uh, local variable to the current coordinates we're going to split it to latitude and longitude and then we're gonna send it as a request and this request goes to uh, my node red port so your IP and then to location path and we're gonna send it like this so latitude is the key and the value is lock one and longitude is the second key and the value is locked to make sure to press the enter they have to be in each line so that's our request now once we've got this request um, sent back to the node red we're going to take a look at the second flow so this flow post requests with the directory location and what it does first it stores the location location in a global variable so it stores the latitude and longitude as a global variable again we're going to need this later uh, and then formats the link itself so we're using the google maps api link and we just need to substitute the latitude longitude and add your API key at the end to make it valid so you could process these requests. Now, once this is done, we're going to send this as a GET request and the response, uh, it's going to be a nice payload with several results. So it's only first results that we are care for. So it's some payload.results and the first entry of that array. And this is a, a key which is formatted address and anything in that key is going to be your human readable address. At that point, I'm also going to recall the name so I would know which name it's assigned to and then uh, format it so I could uh, basically use it later in the next step, which is issuing the response. And this is where I'm using the name. So Matt is near and then payload is going to be my address. And then let me know if you need uh, the directions. Now that's going to be sent uh, back to the Google Home in here and Google Home will say its own thing. Now, if you want to follow up and you want to get that location to be sent to your mobile phone so you could uh, navigate to it, we're going to get the second command, which is send the directions to uh, my phone. And it works exactly the same. So, you know, get your response, uh, get everything. And what you need to do is create another web request. And we're sending again to the node red IP address. This time my directory is location forward slash send. I'm doing the post and I don't have to pass any information because all I have to do is just to trigger it. So this is the trigger. So this is my um, location send. We don't pass any information. We just want to trigger this function. And in this function, we're going to recall the coordinates in here, latitude and longitude. We're going to recall the name, which name was associated with it. We're going to use existing 
auto remote key for your personal device. This is the device you want to send the directions to. And we're going to uh, send a message saying uh, Google Home location. And then we're going to pass the coordinates uh, as such. So we could use them later in Tasker. Uh, this is the correct format of the URL for you to send. And that URL is going to be handled by a post request. Uh, so basically, it's going to go automatically here. When the post request is sent, it goes back to your Tasker device. So this is a profile that you have to have on your mobile. This is the profile you have to have on someone else's profile. This is on your mobile, so it would handle displaying the directions. So when we receive Google Home location, are we uh, doing this action open map? And then we're just passing entire auto remote command. That way, uh, when we basically open map and navigate, in this case, it navigates to where you can use Street View or Point, whatever you or you fancy. This is how you pass the code and it's back to task it to your device. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you think that video is awesome, leave a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. If you want to uh, have all that steps explained in details, check out the description. There is a link to my website and you can read all about it, download the files etc. Feel free to follow me on social media and support me via uh, PayPal or Patreon. Until next time I guess and uh, I'll come up with something equally brilliant. Take care. Bye.